Wave 3 Sunrise with Hugh Finn, Karen Adams, and meteorologist Tom Wills. You're looking at absolutely the worst weather situation in the United States of America right now. Uh, Louisville's roads are closed down, as you can see, the line of stranded vehicles on the interstates here. They're also closed down by proclamation of the governor of Kentucky. But that's not the worst of it. The worst of it is that the temperature has dropped to an all-time record low reading. Right now it's minus 20 degrees. And at 12.53 this morning, it dropped to 21 degrees, and that's the coldest below. in recorded minus history. Minus 21. Below. Yeah, 21 <laughs> below. That's right. That's, yeah. that's assumed. Where were those scenes from? That's uh, 71? That was Interstate 64. 64, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, just about any interstate you look yeah, at, well, yeah, it, it, it looks that way. It's just incredible. And of course, uh, well, first of all, the heavy snow and then the, the cold temperatures have made this situation develop because, just, first of all, the, you can't get the, uh, the salt won't do any good at these temperatures no. and the plows will not be able to get around all the trucks on the, on the highways. A few cinders wouldn't hurt, though, you know? Well, <laughs> I'm not really sure they use cinders anymore. I don't know if they do. I have not seen them. This would be a good time to resurrect that practice, though, because at least you get a little traction on the yeah. cinders. Right, and, and that's one of the problems now happening on the surface roads. They've been pounded down so much, like Bargetown Road, Brownsville Road, the heavily traveled surface roads are you know, mostly open if you're traveling by yourself, but they are mostly a sheet of ice now. I mean, they yeah. have been com compacted into a sheet of ice, and so... If we do have indeed a rush hour this morning, I suspect we're going to have more problems than we have had the last couple of mornings. And this cold weather is certainly not a time that anybody would want to be without electricity. I just spoke to Clay Rice, who's a spokesperson for LG&E this morning. He said right now there are 8,000 customers without electricity, without any power at all. Um, yesterday it was 10,000. Monday originally it was 20,000, mm -hmm. but the number right now is eight and he said the cold weather is just really hampering crews getting out yeah. there. Yeah, I, I can't imagine working in these kind of conditions. Mm -hmm. I know that where, near where I live we had a water main break and the crews were there like 36 hours in a row. I think, mm -hmm. How in the world did they survive this stuff? And the mm -hmm. power outages, I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, you you got to pat those guys on the back for even being out there putting in the effort to get the, everybody back to normal. It's just amazing. Public Service Indiana has 1,300 customers without electricity right now. And um, I talked with the trouble desk this morning at LG&E because my house went dark overnight. Yeah. And uh, so I had to report that to them. And uh, they're, they're very, um, they're kind, they're compassionate over there, very understanding. And they're saying that uh, they're fixing them just as quickly as they possibly can. But uh, folks, have patience if you don't have electricity. Hang tight. Yeah. Keep warm. Out at uh, Bardstown Road and Grinstead Drive right now, Wave 3 News reporter Craig Hoffman is up in Adam early once again this morning and uh, ready to tell us how things are. Good morning, Craig. And good morning, Hugh, and good morning to Karen uh, filling in for the last couple of days. We've missed you out here in all this cold weather. Yeah, it only took me two days to get to work, Craig. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people stranded out there. We're here at Bardstown and Grinstead. Photographer Mike Theobald has joined me for the second day in a row in these frigid temperatures. Okay, Tom Wills has been in here just about all night long figuring this <laughs> out, and uh, what you got for us, Tom? Well, we did it. Feel proud of yourselves. We got that record. I mean, if you're going to get this cold, you might as well go all the way and get the record, right? Well, that, that put us in the Hall of Fame. Uh, well, in the Liberal <laughs> Hall of Fame, for sure, okay? <laughs> minus 20 degrees currently out of Stanford Field. Our downtown reading has just dropped off to minus 16 degrees. Yesterday's daytime high was minus 3, and of course this minus 21 represents the new record low uh, all time, not just for the day, but the coldest ever in Louisville history. We had the old record of minus 20, was, uh, t was uh, actually two days had that back in 1884 and back in 1963. Both of those had that minus 20 degree, but that one's off the books now. This one's the new all-time record, minus 21 degrees. Around the nation this morning, uh, we've seen most of the cloud patterns move out of the Ohio Valley, of course, because of a huge mound of record-breaking cold. And by the way, we're not the only spot seeing all-time record lows this morning. Indianapolis, Grand Rapids, Flint, Michigan, many, to name a few, and many more will probably happen before it's all over. But in the past 24 hours, we're seeing some clouds streaking in across the Plain States heading toward the Ohio Valley. That's going to give us increasing clouds today, and because of that, we're not going to be able to get too much warmer. Well, it'll get warmer than minus 20, but the warming will not be too rapid because of the blocking of the sunshine. There, once again, we're seeing on our local satellite view, the cold air and the snow are picking up as a cloud. Actually, it is not. It's just plain, bitter, bitter cold air across the Ohio Valley. And you can see it, uh, the cold air sank south overnight. You can see the, the apparent cloud doing the same thing. Now, let's take a look at what's happening around the region today. We have a huge amount of high pressure coming across the state today. And that has made the clear, calm conditions overnight is setting the stage with that big blanket of fresh snow for all-time record cold readings across Kentucky. So we're going to start out this morning with plenty of sunshine around the area, but as the day progresses, we're going to see that upper-level disturbance pushing clouds in across the region. Can we go back to the graphics, please? Okay. Go
Clouds are going to be rolling back in across the area, blocking out the sunshine this afternoon. And in that, there's some snow. It'll be a very light little band of light snow coming across Illinois into Indiana this afternoon. It appears the major threat of snow will be to our north across the central parts of Indiana. We may see a little uh, patchy snow or a few flurries or dusting in the Louisville area, but most of the snow will be across Indiana. Here we are this morning. Current temperatures as of 5 o'clock, minus 20 in Louisville, 19 below in Lexington, Fort Knox, E-Town area, minus 23 degrees, Indy at minus 25. Hey, what happened to St. Louis? Zero degrees. Maybe there is some hope, huh? Okay. In Louisville today, the forecast goes this way. Skies will be mostly sunny. Noontime reading about minus 5 degrees. Clouds will roll in this afternoon. Very cold. Today's high reading about 5. A few patches of light snow. Tonight we'll see uh, you know, maybe up to 1 inch from Scottsburg north to Indianapolis. Uh, so, but most of the area will just see a dusting of accumulations. A few flurries around Louisville. Overnight low around 4 degrees with slowly rising readings toward morning. Mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. A few flurries, but getting up to where the salt will work again, up to around 20 degrees going to be slow climbing out, but we'll get up to the upper 20s on Friday, stay in the 30s for highs over the weekend, but at least good sunshine should cause at least some, some slow melting process, but we're getting very cold at nights again, so not too rapid of any cleanup. It's going to take a long, long time. i got to emphasize it. We're talking weeks before our streets get back to normal. I never thought I'd look forward to 38 degrees. Yeah, Thanks Tom, a lot, Tom. Way. Thank you, Tom. It's one minute away from 6 o'clock on the special edition of Wave 3 Sunrise. Our special coverage of the winter storm of 94. And it's 20 degrees below zero outside on a record cold morning. Not just a record for this mm -hmm. date, but a record for all recorded history in Louisville. It's mm -hmm. never been this cold. Still 8,000 people without uh, <clears throat> power this morning as on well. On this side of the river and 1,300 mm -hmm. without power on the other side of the river. And the temperature has just fallen to 22 below zero? It's actually 21 below at this hour, but we have hit 22 below in the last hour. So, so that is a new record. New record. A new Within record. the past hour, Tom Wills tells us it dropped to 22 below. That old record stood uh, since 1884, and it was tied in 1963, and now we broke it to kind of put this thing into perspective. It, uh, I mean, it's Daniel terrible. Boone was yeah. never this cold. Oh, no. No. <laughs> he wouldn't have lived through it. <laughs> but we're tough, and we have furnaces. That's right. Well, Bullock County was one of the area's hardest hit by the storm. A countywide emergency remains in effect. Many people that live in that county are taking to the shelters. Wave through news reporter Ken Marshall has more. For those trying to get out of Kentucky and away from the snow, there is not much luck. Tractor trailers are parked for miles along I-65 South. Everyone waits for the ice-covered roads to crack. On the ground, traffic is either slow or stopped. Justin Kreider has given up on heading south. It is rough. It's really rough. Along I-65, there are signs of how slick and dangerous this road still is. At times, you have to maneuver around abandoned and wrecked trucks and cars. For people who dared travel today, this was about as far as you could go, Lebanon Junction. The roads were a solid sheet of ice, and most truckers decided to pull off the road and wait until they cleared. In Bullock County, 500 travelers live in a Red Cross shelter. They're from all over the nation, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Georgia, Wisconsin. Since the highways are closed, no one is sure when they'll get back on the road. 